Hello, darlings. It's how to video time once again. And today we are featuring our cam doll. Finally, right? Oh, well, how long have you been waiting for this? Me, some several years after I bought my first cam doll. I know, I know. So I'm making it up with a dressier option this time. You guys now ready to make this dress shirt? All right, let's get started. So for this piece, we are using a woven fabric, something that doesn't stretch and preferably in a light or medium light weight material. For the rest of the tools and materials I used here, I'll provide a list in the description box below. So here are all our pattern pieces ready for tracing. Tracing now our two front panels. I'm just using a regular HB pencil, nothing fancy. Then we trace the back panel. Up next, our sleeves. This tiny rectangle here will be traced in mirror image, like so. It's for our sleeve cuffs. We will be tracing twice. Then we trace our colors. We're making two as well, but I'm only tracing one. I just took the same size of its fabric piece with its seam allowance, like so. Just like our collars, I'm also tracing one for our collar stand and prepare one fabric piece that is the same size as its first. It will make more sense later, trust me guys. And let's start cutting. Thank you. 
Now this is what we are doing with the rectangular fabrics for the collars and the collar stands. It's just to make sure they match. Also make sure you label where your front or back part of the sleeve armhole is. So these are all the fabric pieces that we need. It's now sewing time! We're starting with the shoulder seams. Now pin basting is my way of making sure my seams align. You can go ahead and sew right away too. And the rest of the video will be easy, so I'll pop in from time to time if I'm doing something a bit challenging, okay? B or B!
Hey guys, I'm back. The following steps can get technical, so let me help explain this rather complicated collar and collar stand assembly process. So we're sewing together the collar pieces with fabrics facing right. We're starting at the bottom right part and then around the collar edges down until the bottom left part. We are later leaving the horizontal bottom unsewn. Now let's cut slits into this seam allowance and trim off some more extra fabrics. And then flip the collar assembly to its right side. And now we are attaching the collar stand to the collar assembly. See the longer side of the collar stand? Don't mind that. We are attaching the shorter side of the collar stand to the open, unsewn bottom part of the collar assembly. And now I'm about to baste this fold.
please take note that we are not folding the other side of the collar stand. And why I baste painstakingly like this? Well, this is so I can later conveniently sew the collar and the collar stand together with the seam allowance basted and out of the way. Convenience, ultimately. I know we're not done yet with this whole collar piece, but since this video is getting too long already, let's continue connecting the collar stand to the collar in the next video, shall we? So see you in the next part of this series, guys. The link will be in the description and somewhere around the corner here. Alright, so bye for now.